the Toy Story version of the game. Do you, are, do you does that interest you at all? Is the family more excited? Absolutely. About that? No, my kids are big Toy Story fans, so that is awesome. Um, I think that's cool for them. They're gonna um, obviously they're gonna be watching and record it. I'm gonna record it so I can see it, check it out myself, and watch it with them. And um, no, it's, it's pretty dope how they do that. They gonna break down the film for you, the Toy Story. Version. Oh, for sure, absolutely, no <laughs> doubt. How old are your kids? Seven and three. How big would a win this week be for you guys? It's obviously necessary. We need to get back to 500, and um, you know, being on the road, two road games back to back. So we need to we need to come out with with those wins, and um, we're not going over there for vacation. Like I mentioned earlier with Mia, we're not going over there for vacation. We're going over there to handle business and uh, to get wins. That's what we need to do, and um, that's what it is. When you look at this Falcons offense, what makes them dangerous? <clears throat> they got two two playmakers uh, with 25 and 7, and obviously 8. He's a he's a crazy playmaker himself. Um, so, man, we just got to stop the run. We get physical with this old line. Just play ball how we know how to play up front, man. Stop that run and, and um, just be able to rush the passer. How important is it for you guys to jumpstart the pass rush this week? We got to stop that run first. I mean, if, he, if, if they get the run going, they're going to continue to run. You know, they, they, that's what they pride themselves on and get the ball in eight hands and, and five. They got playmakers all over the field, so you stop the run, make them one-dimensional, and then we get off the quarterback, we'll be all right. You're going over there for two games. This is something that no NFL team has done like this before. Do you have to start thinking ahead to that second game at all or prep no, or you just focus on it? Absolutely not. You have to focus on the game that's at hand. It's Atlanta this week. We, uh, we're prepping right now and tomorrow, and then we're going to get on a plane and continue to prep Friday. And we're gonna, it's, it's going to be a normal week, dude. Ain't nothing changing. We've been we've been in London every year, obviously, the past X amount of years. This will be my third year going over there here in uh, Jacksonville. Ain't nothing changed. Continue to do what we do and get a win. And obviously, we'll have some time to rest up before we play Buffalo. Just one for me, obviously, talking about, you know, uh, somebody's been made out of kind of getting away, you know, a little bit, sort of like a change of scenery type thing. You know, does that sort of kind of trickle down to you guys? Does that matter in terms of, like, getting away from sort of, you know, what some people may deem as distractions to go play somewhere else? I don't have to drive that week, so that'll be that'll be a plus. All I have to do is wake up and walk downstairs and eat breakfast and, and go straight to meetings. Uh, but aside from that, that's really, yeah, I mean, like I said, we got a job to do. Um, you know, we're not going to be traveling, obviously driving around as much, but it gives us a little extra time to do what we do. Get out in sight, see it all next week? Uh, not really. Uh, get to go to a soccer match. I'm excited about that. But aside from that, I'm, I'm a homebody, so I don't need to. I've been over there plenty of times, so I might grab some food every now and then, but I'm going to sit tight. Thank you.